which we are leaving right now actually. Um, we are on our way to the bus stop. Swing, swinging by by a one Meridian store because I want to buy some gloves. And Judy wanted something else. What? She's only had, she only has one bra with her on this trip, so... No, bro, I don't have another bra. Really <laughs> so, so, yeah. And then we are on the way to the bus stop that we went to yesterday. Let's catch a three-hour bus to uh, which is um, on the north coast, well, north coast of the mainland islands here. And, um, yeah, there we have, uh, we're gonna have two nights there. We're gonna go see the castle, which is one of my favorite highlights of this trip. And then um, it's a really great lake, which apparently has the second best sunset photo spot in Japan. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna check that one out as well. But yeah, first up, let's go buy some gloves. Took a quick bus break, bathroom break, and uh, yeah, we're around halfway, halfway to Matsue, and um, like on the way here, you can see the the autumn colors are like like already starting crazy to turn. Like in Hiroshima, when we were, the, it started kind of turning, but here it's like already like look at this, look at this tree over here. Uh, it's like bright red, so that's really the, one of the reasons why. I wanted to come to Japan in November because I've only been here in summer and yeah uh, summer is really nice because you have like festivals it's really hot it's a really nice weather but yeah you don't get like the cherry blossoms that you get in spring or like the autumn colors that you get here and uh, yeah so I'm really excited to hopefully once we get a bit more north to, towards Matsue that the autumn colors will be in full swing and you can get some nice video and pictures of the autumn colors and uh, yeah just gonna stay around here for another minute few minutes maybe take some of the autumn colors in and then continue onwards to Matsu. information about Japanese castles you're gonna have to bear with our history lessons on the Japanese Meiji restoration and how Japanese castles came into existence. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun lesson with Dr. Professor Mr. Adam Riffey so yeah, look forward to that.
now at the uh, at uh, Matsue Castle, and uh, as promised, here's the history lesson on the uh, history of castles in Japan. So basically, what you have in all of Japan, you have a lot of different castles. You have like Osaka Castle, probably one of the famous one. You have Nagoya Castle, um, and but all of those castles are kind of not like original. They are reconstructions built made from like um, concrete and stuff. And the reason for that is, um, well, Japan is, as you know, is a very earthquake-prone country. So a lot of the castles were either destroyed by like earthquakes or so since they were all made out of wood before they were reconstructed they, a lot of them just burned down for some reason or another and then another thing that happened was um, the Meiji restoration which was at, in 1861 um, the kind of the power in uh, Japan which used to be like between feudal lords in a lot of different parts of Japan who all had their own castle what was um, put back into a central government um, in Tokyo, I think, and so what happened was because they wanted to get rid of the old, so to speak, they just they declared that a lot of castles should just be like destroyed or sold off, and you know, so a lot of the castles that stood were also destroyed during that time. However, to the, to date, there are like 12 castles left in all of Japan that are still the original castles, meaning that they survived fires, earthquakes, wars. They survived the like new law under the major restoration, and that are still standing mostly today, as they were in well 400 years ago sometimes, which is for example this one was built in 16, 1611, so 407 years ago, and yeah, as I said, there's 12 of them. This one is um, the second biggest one. The biggest one is in Himeji, which is you might have heard of it. It's like a really big white kind. Of this one, on the other hand, is kind of black, um, also pretty big, but black. And uh, yeah, um, this is for me. This is the fifth original castle that I've seen. I've seen the Himeji, and then there's a total of four in Shikoku that I've visited like last year. And uh, yeah, it's it's really impressive because it's basically all made out of wood still, except for the stone walls and stuff. So, and it managed to survive for mostly 470 years yeah it's, uh, that was the that was a brief history lesson of Japan Japanese castles after well after the major restoration and before the major restoration so I think we are just about to get finished here and uh, we're gonna grab some lunch because we haven't eaten yet and we're kind of hungry and, uh, and after that the goal is to go to to the lake it's like a really big lake here and there's a really popular sunset spot the second best sunset spot in Japan where yeah I'm gonna try to get to fly the drone and take some pictures but I don't know if we'll make it today otherwise tomorrow it's gonna be flat. let's go The hill is near, let's get right up Walk up to the very top We couldn't tell the sky from the ground I know my life Will never be the same after that day You wrap me around your fingers and you stay Sunset. Hey, goodbye. At uh, Lake Shinji, which you can see behind me. That's a really nice sunset. It's, this is um, actually the second most popular sunset spot in Japan. Uh, the number one being where we left yesterday, Miyajima, near Hiroshima. And uh, you can see why. It's, it's really the sun is just like setting straight down there. Um, it's already finished. We were a bit late for the sunset but I got some nice drone footage yeah it was it's a pretty cool place but I might come back tomorrow then maybe at a bit earlier 
try to shoot either here or I might go for sunset at the castle and try to shoot that. But yeah, um, I'd say it was was a good uh, good day. First day here in Matsume, although uh, Matsue, although we arrived pretty late. And then tomorrow's plan is gonna be to go to a place called Izumo, which is like one of the most holy or most holy place in the Shinto religion in Japan. Which is like a, it's pretty close to here, like 40 minutes away. I'm gonna spend the day there and then probably come back here to to, uh, to check out some more of the city. There's like a canal tour, boat tour that you can do. If you wanna try and then for sunset, yeah, yes then. And yeah, it's gonna be it for tomorrow and then the day after tomorrow we're going to the Oka Islands, which is which is gonna be really exciting. But yeah, see that see that in two days. And then yeah, for now for now we're just gonna pack up here and then go for dinner somewhere maybe um, curry or um, ramen or something something nothing too specific and uh, yeah so good night and see you tomorrow